Today in the news, we got some extra details for Zen 3 and for Rocket Lake. What's up guys, I'm Snows with a band-aid on its face, and this is your boot sequence. With their Zen 3 event, AMD showed us the basic specifications of their upcoming Ryzen 5000 processors. Unfortunately, the company didn't touch on some of the nuances or features that the processor might come with. Things like an update to Precision Boost or Precision Boost Overdrive, overclocking features, or how the new cache system might influence the Infinity Fabric. Well, it looks like they were planning to do so in the coming weeks. A slide has leaked with information on the new and improved memory overclocking for Ryzen 5000. Before we jump into that slide, let's take a look at what we had. For Ryzen 3000, the ideal memory speed recommended by AMD for the best performance was 3733 MHz. This is with the Infinity Fabric running at 1866 MHz in one-to-one -one mode. This makes the memory latency go down to 67 nanoseconds. When overclocked though, most people were able to push the Infinity Fabric to 1900 MHz, making 3800 MHz the new sweet spot for memory. Keep in mind that memory timing also plays an important role here. And now if we look at the leaked slide, AMD seems to have pushed the Infinity Fabric even further. As you can see here, AMD says that 4000 MHz DDR4 memory is to Ryzen 5000 what 3800 was for Ryzen 3000. This means the new Infinity Fabric runs at 2000 MHz, or at least can be overclocked to 2000 MHz easily and consistently. AMD even goes as far as saying that memory overclocking for Ryzen has the best ROI for Ryzen customers who want to tweak their system. Now, as a little tangent here, Renoir APUs actually have even better memory overclocking clocking capabilities with the fabric clock being able to go all the way up to 2100 megahertz when overclocked. But that's because it's a single chip. There are no separate chiplets for the IO that might affect latency. Anyways, it's nice to see that AMD juiced up the interconnect for better latency. Next up, we got Intel. Next year, the company is set to release two brand new CPU architectures for their desktop market. In the first quarter, we should get Rocket Lake S. That's the first departure from the Skylake architecture since 2015 on desktops. It will feature a backport of the 10 nanometer Tiger Lake Willow Cove core into a 14 nanometer package. In the second half of next year, we should see Alder Lake S, Intel's first 10 nanometer process in the desktop market. Rocket Lake will be supported on the LG LGA 1200 socket and Alder Lake S will be on the new LGA 1700 socket. If you were wondering what the new socket will look like, here's the first look at the underside of a LGA 1700 compatible CPU. As the name suggests, the new CPU will feature exactly 1700 contact pads. I wonder what's under the heat spreader for it to have such a long body. Chiplets maybe? Anyways, that's it for Alder Lake, but what about Rocket Lake? Well, according to MeViewW over on Twitter, the new 11th gen Intel architecture will have insane clock speeds. The Core i9 Rocket Lake processors would turbo up to 5.4 slash 5.5 gigahertz. The engineering sample found can already turbo up to 5.3 gigahertz. MeViewW also claims that the all core turbo could hit five gigahertz. Since this is a new architecture, the IPC increase will play a big part in its performance. Only thing is, IPC increase is already a little weird for Willow Cove cores in the mobile segment. According to Anantech, when an application can leverage the extra cache in Tiger Lake, an IPC increase of around 10% can be seen. But in other situations, Willow Cove cores are actually 2 to 3% worse. It's going to be interesting to see how Rocket Lake will stack up. And that's pretty much it for the catch up, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.